Well, I just got back from uh, Bi County Glass, where they uh, cut me a section of uh, plexiglass for my uh, window feed through. I'm going to put some bulkhead connectors, uh, drill you know, drill some holes and put some bulkhead connectors um, through this plexiglass, and that way I can run it through a closed window and. The, by County Glass was very kind to give me their scrap as well. Uh, they said they were just going to throw it out so I could have as much as I wanted. So I grabbed a whole bunch of whole bunch of scraps for. Uh, I've seen some YouTube videos about um, making dipole antennas. So these are great insulators for that kind of stuff. Who knows what else I'm going to use it for? Um, I'm testing tonight, so we'll see how it goes. But uh, just doing one thing at a time, just kind of getting everything ready for when I can get my actual uh, uh, base radio so that I don't have to try to do it all at once. Anyway, little by little, having fun. Well, good news is I've passed my examination for my technician license and uh, just waiting for my uh, call sign to get through on the uh, ULS site and so in the meantime I'm still working on my shack and right now I'm uh, working on a uh, window feed through panel I was able to get some uh, plexiglass that was cut to fit this frame uh, the screen frame and then it's held in by these uh, clips normally a piece of glass would go in here for, uh, for the winter, for insulation. So what I did was I took the screen out and popped in the uh, plexiglass. And I still need one here, but I, I got these little clips to keep it in. And so the idea, I guess, is to drill some holes for um, some holes for bulkhead connectors. And um, we'll feed the cable through there without having to keep the window open all the time and let in the varmints. I've uh, understood that uh, plexiglass is a hard thing to work with when it comes to drilling and cutting. And so, um, fortunately, the guy that uh, sold me that plexiglass also gave me all his scrap. And so I was working on a project here. Uh, I've seen this on, on YouTube. Um, Randy K7AGE um, showed a little clip on... Uh, how to make a dipole antenna and he used this piece of plexiglass like this. Um, I drilled a couple of holes here and here for these U-bolts to go through and these are what are going to uh, fasten to a um, to a um, PVC pipe, you know, like a mast. And so I just wanted to practice on this and so I didn't want to practice on my uh, on my feed through because uh, this is a scrap and uh, I don't have to worry about you know damaging this because I just get another piece of scrap if I uh, mess it up but boy it sure is hard to, to drill through uh, plexiglass and even as careful as I was I still managed to um, it was the last drill see that little chip in, in every one of the holes it just just to the last drill big just couldn't quite quite make that hole for that for that U-bolt. I, I went through the different series starting from, from smallest and working my way up but, but this one right there that that little rascal there but still all, all in all I'm not too unpleased it's probably I'm doing something wrong maybe I'm going too fast too slow I don't know I tried different things I tried to make the hole a little bit bigger th uh, on that second to last drill bit and just kind of going side to side to kind of widen it a little bit more still it still didn't work um, I suppose uh, if anybody has any suggestions uh, before I get to my my window feed through I'd, I'd appreciate it but anyway this is going to um, if my dipole I'll just videotape the progress and um, got some radios on order. I've got a handheld uh, Yezu FT60R, and I've got my uh, Yezu F FT857 um, on the way. And uh, hopefully, my call sign will be uh, 
um, assigned when the radios get here and get started. Probably going to go on the handheld first and then slowly get on the 857 as I as I get it get it put together, the antennas and everything. Uh, very exciting as always, and looking forward to getting on the air.